All right, good morning, Double Dippers, or afternoon. Um, Anna went to the dentist this morning. Had a great time. Now we're at Taco Bell, as you do. Um, later on today, I've got a class over at um, Flamingo Crossing that I've got to go to. Kona's having a great time. Um, and we're going to go pick up an order from Walmart. So, see you later. All right, Double Dippers, I have to go to the uh, presentation in, I don't have my watch on. Let me look at my phone. It is 3.17. And I have to be there at five, but we still don't have a washer or dryer in our unit. So I have to go to a laundromat. All right, Double Dippers, we are pulling up to the laundromat now it is called yo wash and i got my sack of laundry and i forgot to bring the stuff i was supposed to go to the ups and ship some stuff out today um but i forgot it at home and now i'm about 20 minutes from the house so it doesn't look like that's gonna happen today really needed to but it's fine um but i'll be heading inside washing the laundry All right guys, so I'm one of the few people in the world that has not been to a laundromat, like, ever. I've been maybe twice, and one of those times was at Disney, and that was pretty straightforward. These were not straightforward. I had to go over to a little counter, not a count, oh, I had to go to the counter to ask what the heck to do. Um, and then I had to go to a little touch screen in which you paid for a prepaid card that you tapped at the machine. Now that sounds simple, but, she said I could use cash if I did this. I inserted a dollar and it spit out the card with a dollar on it. What I was gonna do is continue to load up cash and then when I went to add more cash to the card, it wouldn't let me add cash. It would only let me um, just buy a whole new card or use a card, because I was trying to avoid using a card, I was trying to use the cash in my wallet to add money to that card so i can't add cash to a cash card it doesn't make any sense so anyway i go over and it says tap your card so i tap my card little did i know at this point it locks the washer you'll notice that i didn't say i put my clothes in it so i didn't put my clothes in it because i was waiting for it to unlock because the door was closed now i didn't know that you had to pull down the handle forcibly to unlock it so I did not do that so I pay eight dollars and fifty cent for a wash and it starts going and it's locked and I can't stop it and I can't restart it so I go back over the counter and the lady looks at me like I'm an idiot and starts another washer for me so luckily they did that so I didn't lose eight dollars but a lot more expensive than Disney because I'm pretty sure at Disney we got it washed and dried for eight dollars not the case here um i brought my own detergent and we're going to see how this goes hopefully i don't screw up with the drying process also i'm going to leave straight from here and go to flamingo crossing because there's going to be no time to go back and get my package or drop off these clothes so overall it's been very stressful and I would not had to have done any of this if we just had our washer and dryer in our apartment units, but we don't. So let me guys, well, let me know what you guys think I should do about that situation. And I have an alarm going off. Okay. Yeah, so in an hour I've got to leave for Flamingo, or I've got to be at Flamingo at the apprentice uh, hall. So let me guys, let me know what you guys think that I should do about our non washer dryer situation and that doesn't make any sense we had somebody suggest that we ask for money off our rent and if we don't have them but I'm not sure how fair that is I've never lived in an apartment before so I've lived in a rental uh, duplex but I've never lived in a, an apartment situation so 
I don't know how you guys would go about it, but let me know what you think down below. And um, I guess we'll try to finish up this whole laundromat situation. Don't think I'm too stupid. Guys, this day can't get much worse. I'm just sitting here in the car and the people next to me pull out and turn too hard and scrape our bumper and keep going. So I had to call the police and tell them that somebody damaged our vehicle and then ran off. I got their plate. And honestly, I don't know if the damage is even worth complaining about. They scraped up the bumper. I mean, I would like to, for them to have settled it properly and not taken off, but I don't even know. At this point, I'm just hoping that the uh, popo show up before I have to leave for my class. I should be leaving like in 10 minutes. But I don't think that's happening. Alright, for insurance purposes, here's the damage. I mean, it's about the size of my hand, if not slightly longer. But they just pulled out right here. Scraped me and kept going. But laundry's done and I'm gonna be late. No signs of the police yet, so I guess I've gotta go. I don't know what else I can do. I've waited for them for like 20 minutes now. All right, because of the whole uh, situation at the laundromat, I'm seven minutes late already and I still have to get to the apprentice hall. All right, not too bad. We got to meet several people from our location along with uh, other people from different locations. Um, it was nice meeting the people from our location. I didn't really see the point in meeting the other people, but we uh, started a group chat, got to know them. It's very nice. Shout out to Bree and Emma. They just helped me with my scouting trunk because you have to take a picture with somebody in costume. I'm walking over here because I haven't been to the side of the campus yet. We got a couple booths set up. Oh, it's for the welcome event. Okay. Got basketball courts. I am not allowed in the welcome event because I'm off site, which is sad. Or I would let you see what that's like. But I guess that's not, not for me. Which is alright. Our rent is much cheaper than it is here. So, But yeah, there's, oh, there's uh, grills for outdoor grilling over there. But yeah, they've got a, a lot of setting up to do. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's much more over here. Oh, this is the uh, great lawn that they're talking about. Oh, I do like the Mickey chairs though. I want those for my my house i got the pants of the bottom and the yellow feet that's nice all right back at the apartment by the way predictions from yesterday yes it did rain all day and no kona did not get better he he doesn't have a fever anymore but sorry i just dropped something um he does still feel not well just acting tired and not great so we didn't go anywhere today hoping for a better day tomorrow Anna has traditions tomorrow so I'm hoping to go into the park if he's feeling better so anyway back at the apartment now all right double dippers Anna is laying corner down for bed so I'm talking a little quieter um, but you know what that means it's the end of the vlog I want to thank you for watching and if you'd like to, like and subscribe because we will be posting videos as close to daily as possible. That's the goal. Things might change once we start working, but still the goal. Um, if you'd like to support us, we do have a Patreon. Link will be in the description. We appreciate if you can give that way. And with that being said, thank you for watching. Have a good day.